Hello everyone, it's Marshall Giller bringing you the morning comment for July 30th. We've got a really big day ahead of us today, so I'm going to skip the review of the overnight action, you can read it on our website, and just go straight to the outlook for the day. Both the news and the technicals are favorable for the dollar today, in my view. First up is the preliminary German CPI for July. It's expected to have slowed slightly. Uh, as usual, the drama will start several hours earlier when the CPI for Saxony is released. I don't think a decline in German inflation would increase the likelihood of any new measures at next week's ECB meeting, but a further decline in inflation on top of last week's poor German IFO reading would probably add to the sense that the Eurozone's only hope is a weaker currency. So I remain bearish on the Euro. Then a huge day in the US. The ADP employment report is expected to show that the private sector gained 230,000 jobs in July. That's almost the same as the 231,000 non-farm payroll consensus. I expect that if the ADP does come in as expected, it would support the dollar, as it would imply that the US labor market continues to perform well, that uh, the figure would mean an average of 214,000 a month of new jobs for the last six months, which is quite on target. Then 15 minutes later, we get the flash estimate of US GDP for the second quarter. It's expected to rise 3% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter seasonally adjusted annualized basis. That's a rebound from the unexpected 2.9% drop in the first quarter. It may be hard to play the GDP figures, though, uh, as the reaction of the market to the, the figures hasn't been particularly consistent. The GDP data will be accompanied by the annual revisions. The GDP figures also bring the first estimate of the core personal consumption expenditure index, the Fed's favorite uh, inflation measure. It's forecast to jump to 1.9% quarter-on-quarter from 1.2%. Uh, that's close to the Fed's 2% target. A jump like that would make it more likely that the FOMC members will have to move up their inflation forecast and therefore accelerate the timing of the first rate hike as well. It would be significantly dollar bullish, in my view. Then later in the day, the FOMC ends its two-day policy meeting. There are neither updates to the forecast nor a press conference following the meeting, just the release of the statement. I expect they'll update the section describing the economy to bring it into line with the more robust data that's been released recently, uh, but I doubt whether it'll include any new clues to when the committee might raise rates. Neither the economy overall nor inflation specifically have been firm enough recently to warrant any change in the FOMC's message. Although several of the more hawkish members have been making their views known quite clearly, I don't expect anyone to dissent from the statement yet. Nonetheless, Insofar as the statement should reflect the improvements in the economy, I expect it will be dollar positive. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironethics.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global Effects Strategy at ironethics Global, wishing you solid trading.